Okay, I want to play with physics now. Uh, so in this tutorial we are going to throw a rock over the turtle. Um, I, I know it doesn't sound right, but turtles have like a very hard shell thanks to evolution, so uh, she will be okay, I, I hope. Um, so we are working with two images here. Um, we have the turtle, which is a, just a PNG image, and we have the rock, which is another PNG with uh, transparency, so it has no background. But now, to work with um, with physics, we we need vectors. Physics, they, they, they don't work with images only. So we need to make a vector, uh, but in some way put the texture um, into the vector, so put the image into the vector, but the, the software will work only with the vectors. So what we will do is I will create a new vector layer. I will call it rock one. Um, and I will create a vector uh, surrounding this rock. So it will be a very, very simple vector. Okay. That's it. And now I will paint the vector and I will um, let me move it to the right. I will select a color from the rock. Let's suppose I, I like this color, okay? But um, I actually want to see the texture of the rock. I don't want to see this color. So now I will select this, this shape and I will go to effect here. I have my, my style window with advanced checked. So I will go to effect and select image texture. And now I will select the PNG of the rock. And I will check here through transparency so that way the vector won't be visible. You can see there is no background outside. Okay, so that's it. And now you can see the rock is a bit smaller than the actual vector. So I will make it bigger with the select shape tool. So let's suppose I, I like this. So now I have a vector with the shape of the rock, but with a texture inside. So the, the physics will use the, um, the texture. I mean, the, they will use the vector, but um, they will also move the image because it, it is inside of the vector. So now I don't need this layer anymore, so I will just hide it. I have, I have my vector rock here. And you can see uh, one of the issues with Moho um, is that in order to run faster, when I when I drag when I pan the the workspace or when I when I drag the cursor on the timeline, it removes the texture in order to work faster. So um, I won't be able to see the the texture while I am doing that. That's why I, I selected a color for the rock. So at least if I move the cursor on the timeline or if I drag, at least I can see a color. Uh, similar to the one on the rock, so I can have a better preview. Okay, so now once I am done with that, I will create a group layer. Okay, um, I will just name it group uh, one. And I will put the rock inside of this group. Okay, now if I open the layer properties of the group, I can go to the physics tab. And in the physics tab, I can enable the physics. And here I have some uh, options. So first I have the gravity direction. Right now it is pointing down, which seems very normal to me. So I will just leave it like it is right now. Um, and the other one is gravity magnitude. So 10 is like the normal number for for gravity. I, I, I guess it's calculating something similar to the to our gravity I don't know but you can you can modify this number so if you want the moon probably you will have to put I don't know 0 0.3 or something oh no no sorry or oh, 3 I don't know how I don't know what gravity the moon has but I know it's smaller than earth anyway so you can modify this number um so I will press okay and now everything that is inside of this this group will work with physics. So if I hit play now, you can see the rock is falling. And it will continue falling 
forever because actually there is no ground yet so we need to create some ground in order to make the the rock to um to touch something or to bounce over something so i will create a new vector layer and i will call this vector layer ground okay and now i will create a simple rectangle okay so around here oh it has the texture of the rock I, I will remove the texture i don't want that okay so i have this rectangle here and let's suppose the the ground is here so now if i hit play that layer is also falling because the software doesn't know that's that is the ground so i need to tell the software this is the ground so for uh, to do that i will just double click the ground layer go to the physics tab and i will check non-moving ob object so that way i'm very i'm sure that layer will stay st will stay on its place so i press ok and now you can see the rock is bouncing over the ground okay so that's it but now we have two problems the first one is we want the rock to interact with the turtle and that is not happening right now it, it's it's just interacting with the ground and the second problem is that the ground is visible um, and we don't want to actually see it because we, we want to use the images not the vectors so uh, if I hide the layer then the physics won't calculate the, the layer so everything will fall so I can't hide the layer but what I will do instead, and and the physics they need a shape, so we need that shape there. Uh, we can't simply have the 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 curves of the vector without any fill on it. We need that fill. So what uh, uh, we will do to um, cheat the, the 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 software is um, we will select the shape and we will set. A fill with 100% uh, of transparency so the shape will be there but it won't be visible so I press ok and now you can see I have my ground but it's not visible so now I can edit it so maybe in frames in frame 0 I will go to the ground actually I will put the ground below the rock and yeah maybe my ground will be here instead okay so that's it but now we we need the rock to interact with the turtle so what I will do is I will create a new vector layer I will call it turtle and I will create a new shape for the turtle so again it will be very simple I don't need it to be very complex and since I want to simulate the the, the rock is, is actually interacting with the with the turtle um, in 3D, I will put the limit inside of the turtle, so the vector will be inside of the drawing, not right on the border of the drawing, because I want the the rock to fall like in the middle of the shell, not not at the top. I hope that makes sense. And now I will paint this again. I will remove the the stroke and I will set the transparency to zero okay and now I need this layer to be I, I, I don't want this layer to be moved so I will double click here go to physics and again select non moving object so now if I hit play the rock is interacting with the with the turtle and you can see it's interacting here around the middle of the turtle so it looks like it is actually touching something that uh, has uh, a 3d dimensionality um, so now i can in frame zero i can move the the rock i will just move the rock around here so maybe it will fall from higher and there you have and here is a little tip if you want to press play but you want you still want to see the rock and this works with other uh, kind of effects too if you have the 
uh, what's it? the eyedropper tool selected and you hit play with that tool selected then you will be able to see the textures so that's very useful so I can actually see the textures and now once I have this uh, setup done I can duplicate the rock and I can move this duplicate maybe I want something smaller and in a different angle here so now I have two rocks and these two rocks will interact together and maybe they are they are moving uh, apart from the turtle too much so what I can do is I can go to the ground layer and maybe the ground will will move up a little bit so that w uh, won't allow the, the rocks to move too much to the right so I will keep my my scene or the rocks together with the turtle so now I hit play and maybe <laughs> this this one is too it's too obvious there is a ramp here so maybe I, I will do something yeah that's obvious here yeah maybe something like that and now I can continue adding uh, rocks so I can just duplicate this one and of course I can add another texture or another shape or whatever but yeah I can just continue adding rocks so maybe I will add another one maybe a, a bigger one here and yeah remember the, the turtle is okay with all this so here you have many rocks together but now to give a better effect um, I will create I will duplicate this group so I have because you can see that this physics works uh, they work in, in 2D so they are flat they are not 3D the, the rock is not bouncing uh, towards the the camera right because everything is flat but I can simulate um, or I can add layers uh, in order to simulate that this is not actually flat so what I will do is I will create a second group so I will just duplicate this group now I will just remove all the other rocks from this group so there is only one rock on this group now um, and actually I will move it ar around here okay so I have this rock and wait something happened with the texture okay now so I have this rock here and what I will do is I will in the third turtle of this group I will move the points uh, lower so now this this uh, rock will interact with this part of the shape instead of the top so that can be can give the sensation that the rock is um, closer to the camera and also the ground since it is closer to the camera maybe the ground will be around here instead so it will be also lower so now if I hit play I have this rock which is interacting with a different different part of the turtle okay, I will modify the ground a bit and maybe now I will start duplicating the rock so I can put another one here and maybe another one here maybe a bit smaller this one so yeah we are throwing many rocks and I will I, I could create another group and just continue throwing rocks maybe some of the rocks will fall behind of the turtle so maybe I can create another group and put it behind the turtle and maybe so the vector layer of this one will be here and maybe the ground will be higher in this case because it, it is behind and the rocks will be in a different position just to differentiate them okay let's suppose that so now you can see I have many rocks falling over the 
there's two that maybe I will add a last one um, I will duplicate this group and I will modify this turtle so now maybe this last one will just touch this part of the turtle okay and the ground will be even lower for this one now I will move these rocks okay so now you can see I have many rocks and the turtle uh, she doesn't care actually she cares a little bit I will um, just open the turtle here and um, you can see she's actually when the rocks fall she's actually blinking a little bit and then opening the the eye again and maybe she will blink again here and now she can open the the eyes again so that's it okay so she cares about it but just a little bit okay so that's it the final tool I want to show you um, let me just create a new group here and I will hide all the rest and I will just leave one rock here because the other option option we have is that if I have a rock um, and I don't want it to start at the beginning I want it I don't know I want it to start in frame 48 instead uh, instead of frame 1 so what I can do is I can double click on the rock and go to the physics tab and select start as sleep so that means that if I hit play this rock won't move until something else touch it touch it or until I move it by by myself so to do that I, I simply go for instance to frame 48 and I go to animation and match physics object I have a shortcut here for it so it's ctrl shift n so I will press ctrl shift n and here is basically I, we can push the rock uh, in any direction so I will push it down and here is the uh, the the amount uh, the, the strength of that uh, push so I will just leave it in 2 so I press OK and you can see I have a keyframe here now so the rock won't move from here to here the rock won't move but then there is a, a push here and it will throw it I hope yeah it's working <laughs> so there you have and the other option is if I have a, another rock I will duplicate this rock and I will remove this push so now if I have this rock and uh, this one is also starting um, asleep so now what did I okay that's now this one this one won't move until the other one touches it so the the the, the example people always shows is the dominoes so when one of them falls all the others start to fall so they all start asleep and they start to fall once one of the pieces touch them so that is how it works so yeah you have you have more options there's uh, there you can play more with it but uh, yeah this tutorial is more about um, how to simulate how to to throw rocks to a turtle this is the the goal of this tutorial that's it it's it's animal torture um, no, no no I just wanted to show you how to make the physics interact with that 3d object in some way so I wanted to show you how you can simulate that even when we are working with flat physics okay I hope it, this is clear enough I, I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching <laughs> that's it bye